There are two ways of moving Google Scholar results into Covidence. Neither of them are particularly easy. They both are a multi-step process, but I'm going to explain both ways and walk you through them so you can decide for yourself which way you would prefer. The first way is to move things one at a time. Not ideal, um, but if you're only adding you know, a few things, this might be faster than the second way that I'm going to show you. So to move Google Scholar search results one at a time into Covenant, again, we're going to generate a RIS file, just like with many of the others, but it'll just be one result at a time. So to do that, we're going to click on this little quotation mark under a result, which brings up the site box. You've probably seen this before if you've copied a citation for a uh, reference list, but you may not have noticed these options down here at the bottom. These are for moving your Google Scholar search results into a reference management tool, but it also works for Covidence. Out of these four options, we're going to choose RefMan. This is the option that generates the RIS file that we need. So we click there, save file, import it just like we did the other ones. The only problem is, is this is only for literally one reference. So again, if you're going to just be importing a few references, this can work. If your strategy for Google Scholar was to include the first 100 results and then screen once they're in confidence, this method is going to be way too time consuming for you. So let's look at the second method. The second Google Scholar export method allows you to move up to 10 records at a time in one RIS file to import into Covidence. To do this, you'll want to click the star button under every single search result that you want to include in Covidence for screening. So this could be anywhere from 100 to 200, maybe less than 100. It's whatever you decided would be your cutoff in Google Scholar. I think the typical cutoff is 100, but there's definitely flexibility there. Once you have selected all of the records that you want to import into Confidence, you'll actually go into your library. And your library displays 10 records at a time, which is why the IRS file that we create will also have 10 records. So from here, you're going to check off this select all box. And then you'll click this export arrow that looks like a download arrow. And again, from this list, you'll choose RefMan like we did in the previous method. And this also creates an RIS file and this one will have 10 records in it. Now, obviously that means it won't get everything in your library in that one file. So all you have to do is scroll to the bottom of your library and then go to the next page and create another file for the next 10 until you have created a file for all of the Google Scholar records that you want in Confidence, and then just import all of those RIS files to move all of your search results into Confidence.